If you want more cash pay patients on your schedule, but you or your receptionist struggle to get callers to say yes to your cash pay services, then listen closely because in this video, I'm going to share with you the eight step phone call checklist that we use at my practice and many of my students practices to get at least 80% of our leads to say yes and become cash pay customers. Welcome to today's episode. My name is Jared Carter. I'm a physical therapist, a cash-based practice owner, and the creator of the Cash Pay Profit Formula. I help healthcare providers like you to create your own cash-based out-of-network or concierge practices so that you can end reliance on greedy insurance companies, provide a level of care that you are ultimately proud of, and reclaim your profits and your future. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing to this channel because I put out free trainings like this all the time and they always have a free resource associated with them so that you can get results faster. And the free resource with this episode are additional scripts uh, for the first phone call with a prospective patient that it, they're not going to be included in today's training, uh, but they can be really, really useful when you do get someone to book and say yes for that next step, but you get a sense that they might no show or they might cancel. They don't feel fully committed and they're on the fence still. These scripts and statements will help to get that full commitment and make sure that they don't waste your precious time or hold a precious spot on your schedule and then not show up. You can get those scripts at drjaredcarter.com forward slash episode 16. Okay, let's dive in. So this eight step process is something I call the perspective phone call checklist. And it really is a checklist. It's not always going to go exactly in this order as you'll hear as I explain this. Uh, but today I'm going to give you a quick overview and quick start guide to this process. And this is a process that I teach in crazy detail in my flagship online course, Cash Based Practice Freedom 2.0. So step number one is the insurance reframe. And you're not necessarily going to use this every time. It's only used when somebody first, right out of the gate, as they call, asks if you take their insurance. And if you don't, then you use this statement to get them to defer that part of the conversation until you can talk about some other important things first. So it goes something along the line of, uh, Mr. Jones, we do have a lot of patients with Blue Cross Blue Shield, uh, but before we get into plan coverage and, and types, uh, can you please tell me what has you seeking physical therapy so I can make sure that we're going to be a perfect fit for your needs? And so that is the insurance reframe. Use it if you need it. Next, if you or if you know they call and they don't ask about insurance, you're going to move straight into the next step, which is patient history. Just getting a history of what's going on, you know, when it started, all those kind of things that you want to, as a clinician or to you know as a receptionist, you're going to pass on to the clinician to inform them about the, the kind of history and story of what's going on. Step number three is limitations and goals. So we have the history and we say now we figure out how is it limiting you from the things that you need and want and love to do, and what are the corresponding defined goals that we can make from the start, uh, you know, to get you out of those limitations, knowing what we're pushing towards. So limitations and goals. Step four is emotional importance or, or what we call the why. So figuring out why those goals and why those limitations are are important to them. And it, it, it can be self-evident in some cases, and you might skip this step. But in a lot of cases, you don't actually know why that activity or that goal is important to them. And it's important to get them to verbalize that. Step number five is confirming treatability and your experience and success with treating what they're dealing with. Step number six is what I call differentiating and demonstrating. So you're differentiating yourself and your practice from what they would get from your competitors, especially your insurance based competitors. And you're demonstrating the value, the high level value features that your experience, your overall care that you provide provides to that prospect. Step number seven is inviting them to become a client or at least come in for a consult and getting them booked, if at all possible, for that consultation or for that evaluation. And then the last step, step number eight, is discussing the financial part of it, your cash based program. So you notice if you can put it off to the end, you do, and you guide them through that, that process and all those different components of the discussion and actually get them to say yes and get them to book before you even talk about it. A lot of times it's step number seven when you ask if they want to come in for a free consult or if they, if they're, they're bought and, and ready to, you know, say bought, but they're ready to come in and get started and want treatment in that first visit. We can go ahead and set up an evaluation and treatment session, at that point, it naturally will bring up the financial conversation. You have that step number eight kind of 
you know, combined with step number seven, but that's when you discuss the, the out of network or financial components of getting care with your practice. So there are obviously a lot of other variables, sales tactics and things that can go into that initial prospective patient phone call. But this is giving you a really solid overview of the things and the boxes that you do want to check in every one of these calls, if at all possible, and generally the order that you want to take to get there. So again, if you ever do, you know, follow this list and you get to the end and they book and they sound like, eh, they're, they're still a little on the, on the fence. You're not so sure about this cash based thing. Make sure you have those additional scripts that you can download for free to throw into that conversation, get that commitment and make sure that they do show up and are more likely to become a cash pay customer. And you can get those at drjaredcarter.com forward slash episode 16. All right. As always, I really appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate your comments and questions. So please, if you have any of those, leave them in the comment section below. If you have a colleague or anyone in your life you think could benefit from this information, please tag them here or send this to them. And finally, if you want even more information on how to transition out of network, start a cash practice from scratch, or maximize and optimize your current cash-based practice, then enjoy these related videos and I'll see you soon in the next episode.